Cheers, right, bro. Cheers, Thanks brother. for coming on, man. Hell yeah. Thanks for having me. Ooh. Ah, damn. That's not too bad. <coughs> Ooh. That shit already got me warm. Yeah? <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, I'm terrible at intros, and I'm honestly sick of doing intros, so... This is the Mulberry Podcast. I don't even remember what episode this is. It's been a minute, honestly. We're it's here, been a cool minute. You know, we, but we're back. Got a new setup. Got my buddy Nate Gilmore in here, man. What up? How you doing? Man, living. Yeah? Hell yeah. How's life in uh, during the pandemic for you, man? <sighs> Crazy year, but fucking <laughs> now, bro, I'm loving it for real. Yeah? It. Hell yeah. I'm loving it. There was a lot of people at the beginning of the pandemic talking about, um, <clears throat> like, people who had, like, a lot of anxiety or felt, like, left out, like, yeah. didn't go out a lot, and mm-hmm. now, like, no one can go out, and they kind of feel, like, you know, yeah. better for whatever reason, you know? Everyone's kind of going through the same thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, everybody's, yeah, everybody's really going through it. Like, I went through it, too. Fucking really found myself. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, six months ago, man, crazy. Doing some dumb shit. Yeah. You know, I was playing... This is before I even got into school. I went to school for a little bit. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, I was out there. But, yeah, I really found myself mentally and physically. Yeah. yeah. I'm fucking feeling great, way better than I ever had. That's good, bro. Is that something you want to talk about or you just want to leave yeah, it at that? Yeah, we can. Yeah? Yeah. Um. Man. I say shit been rough since, like, since like as soon as I graduated high school, cause you know I lost a friend in high school, he got fucking he got stabbed. Who was that? Uh, my friend Sergio. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. This is his hat right here. Okay. He was wearing this hat the day he uh, passed away. It fell off his head. Really? When he was giving his daughter a hug. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. I remember hearing about that. I didn't know him. Yeah, that but, was my uh, boy. Like. Like, when I first moved to Atwater, I was, like, one of my first friends. Really? Yeah. Since, like, third, fourth grade. And this happened, um, you were still in high school? Yeah, I was still in high school. Because you were, you're, what year did you graduate? 2016. 16, okay, I graduated 13. You were a freshman when I was a senior, yeah. correct? Okay. All right. So, what, how old were you when, uh, when you, when you said you came to Atwater? From where? I was born in San Diego. Okay. So I was born in San Diego, came up to Merced, um, got into the fucking foster care system and all that, ended up in Atwater, I don't know, I don't even remember, and been in Atwater ever since. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, were you, uh, you played football and all that in high school, track, that's how we know each other. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Did you do any of that growing up before high school? Yeah, I played football since I was eight. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I started with once I moved out here, played football in the, like, in the street, you know. We played yeah, football yeah. in the streets, and we were kicking field goals. I don't know why we were <laughs> kicking field goals, but I snapped the ball, and they're, like, they're telling me I ain't never played football. I'm like, when you snap it, you got to move out the way. So I snap it, and I look back, and he kicks the ball. Wow! <laughs> straight to my face. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> but yeah, it's fucking. That's when I. That's my very first experience playing football. <laughs> and, you were like, <laughs> yeah. And then I played fucking tackle for Atwater, and I've been playing for Atwater ever since. Atwater Youth. Yeah. Damn. Man. I think that's when I'm. I met your dad. He was the announcer, and I think Dalton. He too. was. Yeah, Dalton, <laughs> I was on the same team as Dalton. Wow. That was my first time playing football. Wow. My dad was the announcer back in the day. Yeah, I remember that. Well, that man was the goat. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Um. So, how do you feel like your, you know, your childhood was growing up here? You know, going through the foster care system and all that. 
it was rough, but I don't regret nothing. Like it made me who I am. Yeah, like, it made me real strong. Like you, uh, I know a lot of people. Well, I don't know a lot of people, but it seems like you know, depending on how you grow up in your childhood, a lot of kids who had rough childhoods like that, you know, end up kind of going down like a you know a wrong path and all that. And it it really seems like you're real quiet and just kind of you it's always about like work ethic you know yeah. that's how i remember you from just always mm-hmm. wanting to work wanting to learn wanting to like be better yeah. you know and i for feel like me, you always yeah. is that, were you always like that yeah for me like my situation i'm kind of lucky because even though i grew up like rough i had a father figure in my life and not a lot of like young african americans have that right. so i had i had my dad and then all my cousins and stuff and all my cousins are older so and they've been through all this gang stuff and shit like that and my dad's older too my dad's like 55 i think really yeah so he's like he was born in 65 so like during the 80s when all that crack stuff hit he was already in his 20s he was my age wow so like he was in he was in the middle of that yeah, shit. Yeah, he was in age. the navy and yeah. gang banging and shit. It was crazy. So yeah, I heard a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, and that's pretty much like it made me grow up real early. Like made me like be aware. Yeah, of shit. be real aware and stuff. It's like some shit. Yeah, some people are weird and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Plus, just, Atwater, I Atwater, had to stay in my lane. Yeah, and Atwater is a. Uh, it's a small town, man. Like, you know, you kind of know everybody yeah, and stuff. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah, and I honestly didn't know that though. Like, I just learned that right now about you going through the foster care system. Yeah. I didn't know that, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is Edward real, not man. your real brother? No, nah, he's my brother. Oh, like, you guys real are... blood, same oh, okay. mom, same dad. He just he just got my mom's last name because my mom's the only child. Oh, okay. And so, you know, keep her name going. Right, right, right. Yeah, so that's that's it. Oh, that's lit. Okay. Yeah, but no, nah, I do got, I got two older brothers <clears throat> from my dad's side. Uh, one's uh, Charles, rest in peace to him. And my other brother, uh, Jamal, he's locked up in uh, Salinas right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. What was your experience when you got like when you became a freshman and you were on you know on the campus and stuff and going out for uh, like for track and being around like all the older kids like how did like did that were you like because you were real quiet so honestly didn't know how you felt like were you like nervous were you chilling yeah i was i was just chilling see i did it like i wasn't fast well in elementary i was fast right but like once high school hit, I don't know. I just got slower. I was I was just more focused on football. Yeah. And so I'd use track just to like stay in shape. But I mainly did track because of my brother. Okay. And like, cause you guys were winning all these championships. I was like, man, I'm trying to get a piece of that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and then just that that one year, bro. Like when I met you and Trevor, bro, I fell in love with that. I was like, bro, track's hella fun. Like, track's probably the most fun I've ever had. Really? In any sport. Hell yeah. Like, you just meet so many new people and shit. All these people from different cities and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's dope. That's cool, bro. I appreciate it. I'm glad, you know, I'm glad that you have those those fond memories and we were able to just be ourselves out there and yeah. just have fun with everybody. Because, <laughs> like, shit. football's different, bro. Like, you can't oh, really do man. that. I mean, you can, but if you're fucking off at practice, you're going to get fucking yelled at. Yeah. You know, I'm going to run and all that. As if you fuck off at practice, it'll translate to the game. Man. Exactly. That's exactly it showed for us. Because yeah. that's all we did my senior year. <laughs> <laughs> we just fuck around, bro. We went 2-8. and eight. <laughs> <laughs> The one week we actually went serious was fucking Buhag week, and we won that game. <laughs> Yeah, bro, bro. Yo, what was the other game? What was the other team you beat? Uh, Central Valley. Oh, okay. Some team in the series. They fucking suck. <laughs> no, that was the first game, wasn't it? You guys thought you were all we raw won. Shit. <laughs> we won the very first game in the very last game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we were sorry, bro, but fuck. That team was hella fun. Oh, my God. We had some characters. Yeah, you had like, uh, 
Yeah, Noah. Noah, bro. Fuck, Noah was killing everybody. Dude, yeah. Jesus. He was, like, roided up out there, bro. Uh, you had Jake Parker. Parker. We had Catfish. Everybody. Fucking fish. That's the homies. They're all the homies, dude. That's honestly. all the homies, bro. That's why I love it, bro. They're all we're all friends to this day. Yeah, still, bro. And they all. Um, it's just crazy because I mean I knew Jake, but I never like talked to Fish or Noah really at all. Yeah. But every time they saw me, they'd always say it's what's up. Love. Yeah, it's yeah, all love all the time. It's all love. I think that's what's good about sports, man. It just does that, you yeah. know. Yeah. Creates bonds, bro. Yeah. For real. But track was definitely fun, dude. Like with that, my senior year, which was your freshman year, that was the funnest time I had too yeah, that in was high my school. Year too. Like in high school, that was fun, yeah. bro. Like I love football to the death, but it wasn't it's, like it was a different love though. It yeah. was like you know, like you're it's grinding. Like, you're, I'm taking this shit exactly fucking serious. Exactly, yeah. but track, dude, we fucked off so much, bro, <laughs> and like pissed Ibarra off like all the uh, time. Ibarra is hella funny, but because he knew like. He knew we'd work. We were able to, where we worked and had fun while doing it, and he was okay with that. Yeah. But at the same time, when you talked about how it translates, like in football, if you fuck off all week, you're, yeah. it does translate to the game. There's For track, there's a switch you could just flip. Yeah, because like, you're just running. It, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. Like, running. you just... Dude, I'd be fucking off warming up before my race, but then when I get on the track, yeah, it's, a whole it's story. like, I don't listen to nobody. Like, I hear you guys, come on, dude, like, fucking with me and shit sometimes, and I just, like, zone out, and yeah, I just yeah. do my thing for that, you know, 30-whatever yeah. seconds. I we were screaming at Clovis that he's right behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like a, I didn't like even hear that. like, a 100-meter lead, bro. <laughs> and we're like, Dallas, he's right behind you. It was Trevor. He's like, Dallas, he's right there. I was probably like, no fucking way is this dude caught me, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was fun, bro. Uh... You guys always like to bring up um, with the bands, the speed band story, <laughs> and then Bro, there was like a few hilarious. stories. The speed band story, the story where I jumped over the hurdle backwards. <laughs> then we fucking kicked the hurdle. <laughs> <And> <laughs> I got so mad. Bro. Yeah, yeah. So that was, I think that was the first one when I kicked it. Uh, like we were stepping over him, yeah. like like warming up. And like my foot got caught, my back foot, and I was like, oh shit. He's like, shit, damn hurdles. What I was shit, like, man, kick fuck. the fuck out of I was like, I hate hurdles. And I kicked the hurdle, like, I kicked up on it, and it snapped the hurdle in half, like that. And he borrowed, dude. Like, you know, like, he got so pissed. He just stand there, like, this short, bald ass, just like, <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> yeah, with his glasses and shit. His fucking sunglasses, tan. His little bucket <laughs> hat, too. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. And I kicked it, and he got pissed off, man. He told me. He asked me, like, you pay for these? I was like, no. And he's like, then why are you breaking them? Like, why are you purposely breaking them? I'm like, these are some <laughs> shitty-ass, cheap-ass oh. hurdles, man. Can we get some real hurdles in here? Because the real ones you race with, they're heavy. Hella heavy. They don't do that. And if you hit it, like, you're going to... I it know fucks my dad, he used to run when they were wooden. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, all the marks on our knees and shit and ankles, bro, he got hella cuts. Bro. Yeah. They they were wooden back in the day. Dude, that shit would tear your skin off. I know. I know all the hurdles that they have right now. We had to build all of them my senior year. Really? Was, yeah, they made us do it, bro. <laughs> that shit fucking sucked. Not even bars. They ass. didn't get you guys new ones. Yeah, they got us new ones, but we had to build them. Oh, you beat like oh. we were fucking screwing in the hurdles and shit. <laughs> that shit sucked, bro. Like that was our practice that day. Was screwing in the hurdles? Making the hurdles, bro. And it was like fucking 200 hurdles. <laughs> well, at least they got some new hurdles, bro. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit, those hurdles yeah. we had were some plastic-ass fucking, some goddamn Playmate toy hurdles, dude. <laughs> I Dude, I broke probably like, my junior year, I probably broke like 14 of them, dude. God damn. Like doing work in the turn, like the turn work, and I like hit them with my back leg all the time, <laughs> and it would snap them all the time. I'm like... Like, I don't know what you want me to do. I think I broke a couple hurdles. <clears throat> Nothing crazy. I think I fell more than I broke a hurdle. You fell? <laughs> I didn't fall that much. Well, I was fucking off that one day, and I jumped the hurdle backwards. Because, you know, like, yeah. when you jump forward and hit it, it, it kind of goes down. But, obviously, when you jump backwards, it doesn't. And I remember I was fucking around. And every time I fuck off, the soccer player chicks were always out there, like right there, you know, on the grass, right on the there, turf. Yeah. 
and they're all right there, and I'm being stupid, and I hurtled it backwards, and I it <laughs> caught my back leg. I just fell straight down. That was just the worst, bro, falling in front of girls. Yeah. That was the shit we worried about in high school. <laughs> it's like, shit. That was me my freshman year at college. I was in Nebraska. Uh-huh. And, you know, it's, it's it ice storms there, bro. Like, it rains, and as soon as it hits the ground, it turns into ice. So it's hell. Damn, fuck it's like deep. that cold? Yeah. It's hella slick and stuff. So I'm walking. On campus? Yeah, I'm walking back to my dorm on campus. Like, I'm walking hella slow, too, because it's hella slippery. <laughs> and, like, I try to walk onto the sidewalk, like, the little ramp. And, like, I take a step, and I slip, bro. Boom! <laughs> right on my back, bro, in front of, like, five senior girls, bro. And I'm a freshman, too. I'm like. Oh shit, <laughs> bro! I'm fucking put my hoodie on, bro. Just Did they laugh? Was like hell yeah, they started laughing. They didn't even at ask me. you if you're okay. <laughs> hell no, they just started <laughs> laughing, bro. They probably see that shit all the time, though. Yeah, they probably do. <clears throat> I've seen some people fall hard. Yeah, hell yeah, that shit. That ice <laughs> is no joke, bro. Nah, it was like that in Utah too, man. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Sometimes I wouldn't even like step. I would just slide my feet. I would just slide them because I'm not going to pick them up. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, it so snowed you, out there too, huh? Hell yeah. There's a lot of days where I didn't even go to class. I like, I had a, my first my first semester, I had a 7.30 a.m. class and I would like. 7.30? Yeah, I would wake up and look out there and I'd be like, fuck no, nope. dude. And then when it would snow. Definitely, man. You know what's funny though? When it would snow, it wouldn't be as cold because it's like insulated. Yeah, it was warmer. weird, yeah. It's because the clouds were out so it would like. All the all like the admissions and exhaust Every and dish. everything, it would kind of like it wouldn't leave. It yeah. wouldn't. It would kind of be there still. But uh, the worst shit was after the storms, after the snowstorms, and then it was icy as fuck, yeah. and it was so fucking cold. I would go outside, dude, and like my whole truck was like an ice box. But then I couldn't <laughs> even back up. My tires oh, like <laughs> just like doing that. I had to go inside get a screwdriver, and I'm down there Holy just shit. chiseling to get down. <laughs> To the to the uh, the road, so I can back up just to go to fucking class. Was that like your first snow experiencing it out there, like seeing snow fall from the sky? No, I've no, I've seen it because I've gone to the snow and like I've okay. seen it actually snow. Yeah, but it's I love the snow, but I also love to oh, leave. No, that shit's dope. I don't love to live there, bro. Like it sucks living in that shit, dude. Yeah. Like it's cool <laughs> to visit and then be like, shit. all right, let's go home. But, Toes be freezing and shit. Yeah. I had a play in that shit, bro. Oh yeah, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna get into that right now. But um, yeah, it was fucking yeah. Living in the cold weather really made me appreciate living here. Yeah, hell yeah. I didn't go sure. to class at all. I had a broken collarbone too. So oh, I was you like, could probably feel that for sure. I was like, I'm not falling. I was yeah. like, I'm not even gonna take that risk of yeah. slipping and falling, bro. Because I'm just gonna be pissed and I'm gonna end up dropping out. <laughs> it's just going up. Like man, fuck this shit, <laughs> dude. Because. And then, like, uh, at, like I said, after the storms, like, you go outside, bro, and, like, I remember taking that first breath, and, like, it would, like, hurt my lungs, mm-hmm. dude. And then my last semester I was there, we had a 6 a.m. weightlifting. So, like, oh, I had, and yeah. I had to go to that. Like, yeah, there's no I, skipping I already, that. There's no skipping no, that, dude. So I would get yes. up at 5.45, bro, and I'd just hate my life, bro. I'd be like, fuck this, dude. I know. We used to do that, and our coach, he would say, the cold doesn't make you sick. So it's like, bro, we're out there in fucking 20 degrees in shorts and, and a t-shirt, bro, running sprints and shit, doing fucking You guys didn't have an indoor up-downs. facility? We had an indoor track, yeah, but we would do the shit outside in the cold. I don't know why. <laughs> Man, it's fucking Yo, insane, Yo, our football team was spoiled as fuck then. They were, they had a, we had a whole indoor, they had a whole field indoor like field, that? bro. It was like Hell a, no, maybe a 75-yard field, but. Not us, bro. They made our ass freeze, bro. That shit sucked. <laughs> like, the ground's hella wet, bro. We're over here diving on it, and it's 20 degrees at that. I got snot all in my face, bro. Hell that nah. shit was rough. So you went to Nebraska for football? Yeah. <clears throat> How do you feel like at Atwater High, because we're, you know, it's a small school. How do you feel like our coaches did in helping you get seen and get out when i was there it wasn't as much but you're three four years yeah. later so like did you feel like 
more people were getting signed because I like saw when I was at a, when I was out of high school and in college like I would see on like social a media lot people, a lot yeah. of people were like you know the coach the recruiters would come they do the little signing take pictures all that dude we had like maybe one person two people Trevor yeah Shit. nah that's all Ibarra man for real like that's Ibarra Ibarra, Ibarra helped hell you. yeah Ibarra bro put me out there like. Yo, make your highlight tape. My junior year and shit. Make your highlight tape. Take you your made SATs. it. SATs. Nah, right. he made my he made my junior highlight tape. Okay. I made my senior one. Okay. But yeah, Ibarra. That's that's the main reason right there. Ibarra for real. So Ibarra put us out there. Yeah. Well, that because that's when he came when we were. I think I was like a junior. Well, I was a sophomore, but like junior senior, he really got involved and he he helped. He's helped a lot of kids. Mm-hmm. Cause yeah. I mean, fuck, dude. <clears throat> Your talent alone is not gonna get you looked at. Yeah. Like people, how 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 can people tell how good you are if they don't see you or if you're not mm-hmm. out there or you're not you know able to be recruited? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Ibarra really put me out there for football because I had the grades. Like I graduated with a 4.0. Uh, like I could have walked on to all these places, but Noah had that scholarship to Concordia first, Noah and Jace, and then I got mine, so I'm like, hell yeah, I'm finna take it. I'm finna go play with them. At least you know them. Yeah, it's like it. I got people, like. Yeah. So Concordia, is that a Division two school? It's a NAIA. Okay. So it's a real small school. Yeah, it's like yeah. Stanislaus' is NAIA. Yeah. yeah, it's real small. I think Atwater High is probably bigger than the, than Concordia. Think or so? Or about the same size. Cause Damn. The, the town that it's in, it's like six thousand people, so it's like Winton. Oh, that's the boonies, bro. Yeah, it's hella small, <laughs> and that's in Kansas, Nebraska, Nebraska, Nebraska. Yeah. That's right. It's like twenty minutes away from uh, the university. Oh, university, Nebraska. Nebraska? Yeah. So we we used to go to parties there. And shit. Is that Tell, the is that the corn huskers? Yeah, the corn huskers. <laughs> Tell them that you're a recruit, bro. It's good. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You go in there. Yeah, I'm a recruit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Come in, bro. Take a shot. So then parties are wild. Hell yeah, the parties were it, parties were cool. Yeah. Nah, when I went out to party, bro, it was just trouble. <laughs> it was trouble. Really? Yeah, cause that's when Donald Trump first became president. Oh yeah. And Raymond came out with that shirt, "Fuck Trump," and I rocked that shit. It's I was getting hella dirty looks. Like you, oh, you rocked it I out was, there. I was wearing the fuck Trump oh, shirt out was, in Nebraska, bro. <laughs> you were asking for trouble out there. I was, bro. I was on some dumb shit. Like to be real, I was just, I just didn't care. Yeah, I just didn't care. So like, what do you get people press you? They wouldn't like press me. They would be like, "Hey, fuck your shirt, ha huh? That's it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nothing <it's> crazy. <laughs> But they're probably like, scared of you, bro. Yeah. They don't see black people that often out there. Yeah, they don't. Like, for you know? real, they don't. Like, people just hella stare at you. It's just like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, well, yo, why are you staring at me? Yeah. You want some more, brother? Hell yeah, please. Let me get your cup. But, nah, that's crazy, bro. That's what, like, <clears throat> I always talk about living in California, man. It's, uh... You're blessed it's if a you blessing, live in bro. California. It is a blessing. It's for very reals. diverse here. You get a you get a, a little taste of a lot of different cultures, bro. Like yeah, when you think about like what, what elementary school did you go to? <laughs> I went to fucking damn near every one, bro. I was <laughs> I was house to house. I went to Bellevue. I went to Bellevue third grade. I went to Mitchell K six fourth and fifth grade. And then I went to Thomas Alita. Or I actually went to Schaefer for a little bit. Damn, you've been all over. Yeah, I was I was everywhere. But you know, like, it's... That's why I know a lot of people. Because I went yeah, to all like these almost, different... Yeah, that's like almost every yeah. elementary school. Yeah, I went to yeah, all I'm these on. different elementary schools. But that's good. Like, you know, you notice how there's different... There's different... It's not just all white kids. Yeah. You know? I mean, there's a lot of Mexicans, a lot of white kids... You know, you got the Hmong community. Mm-hmm. You know, you got... There's not a lot of black folks here. Yeah, it's it's not. More Merced, though. Yeah, Merced, yeah. But Atwater, Winton, no, not really. Yeah. But now, I've, I've been seeing the more. Yeah. I've been seeing more black people. Yeah, I've been like, oh, shit. So, you get a, you get a different... You know, <clears> I can <throat> say, like, one of my first friends was black. 
growing up yeah. you know and like we were like best friends and mm-hmm. i didn't know like i didn't know shit about shit dude yeah, like he's yeah. just my friend it's you my know friend but as you grow up and get older yeah, you, start you start to start realize this you, shit yeah you, know, you see a lot of fuck shit mm-hmm. but but like in utah it's mostly white folks mm-hmm. and mostly people who were you know most of the black kids they were athletes that's pretty much it you know yeah. in nebraska that's i don't even know is that i don't necessarily know that's the midwest right yeah, yeah, it's like the middle. Yeah, the yeah. Last year. But that's mostly white people for sure. Yeah, it was a real culture change for me. Because, yeah. like, you know, we're out here. We used to, like, you know, there's white people, but it's a lot. It's way more diverse. Yeah. It's like, out there, is, it's like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, that's why I started, started hanging out with more black people and shit, you know, really researching more and shit like that. Yeah. yeah it really opened my eyes. And then experiencing things too, it's yeah. like, man, this shit is crazy. Cause you're here, it's not, it's not really like that. As yeah, much. I, yeah, I've never had no like racist, no crazy racist thing, nothing too crazy. But when I was out there, I was like, whoa, <laughs> like, I ain't nobody calling me no nigger out here. But I mean, <laughs> if somebody might have said it back in like elementary school, but yeah. like now not, that I'm not grown, even knowing like what it's what it yeah. even means, you know. Ain't nobody say it to me when I'm grown. Yeah. But in Nebraska, yeah, they'd say that shit's crazy. <laughs> like all the like, abortion, Whoa. bro. It's yeah, like the abortion stuff and shit like that. Oh. Like, bro, I'm eating I'm eating breakfast and you know the dining hall that got the windows and stuff. Right outside the dining hall, bruh, is these people that are I don't even know, pro life, I think. Like Fucking, yeah, they're, they're pro- against abortion. Yeah, it's pro life. Bro, they're putting that shit on this big ass projector, and it's like, this is how an abortion is done. Duh, 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 duh. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm trying to eat, bro. <laughs> I go out there, I'm like, yo, what the hell are y'all doing? Is bro? it a video? Bro, it's a video, bro. It's a video <laughs> of like, like a doctor taking a kid. Yeah, bro. I'm like, <laughs> yo, I'm like, dog, we are in here eating, bro. I'm like, first, bro, mind your fucking business. Like, <laughs> Uh, who, who who cares, bro? Like, nigga, her body, her choice. You feel me? Like, that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. Let her do her thing, bro. Second, bro, I'm trying to eat, bro. I'm not trying to see that shit, bro. I don't want to see a fucking a dead fetus, bro. It looks like a lima bean and shit. That shit's disgusting, bro. I couldn't even finish my food. <laughs> oh, my God. And they were God. hella mad at me, too. They are just sitting there staring at me and shit. <laughs> But yeah, shit just, just pisses trying me. To, like, enjoy bro, I'm your trying cereal. to enjoy my food, bro. Like I'm trying to eat these disgusting ass food that I'm about to fucking. I'm about to go to the bathroom five minutes later after this shit, bro. I can't even eat. Man. Oh, that's fast. And they serve. Bro. And they only serve one thing in breakfast, so it's like I'm not even getting a good meal. So really, now, bro? now I'm extra mad. Are you guys in prison, bro? Eggs, biscuits and gravy and eggs every single day. Yo, that's lit for like a week, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. Yo, that's it, bro. Can that's I get it. some bacon or sausage or something? Bro, not Oh, even that. shit. How you live out in the country and you don't get no bacon or sausage, bro? bro. Or a like steak and eggs. Only good like, thing on, in bro. Nebraska was fucking corn, bro. <laughs> that's some corn. I swear, the corn is good as fuck. You ain't <laughs> even got to put butter on it, bro. I swear. I swear, bro. So I they went, live up to their name? <laughs> I went to, like, I met a dude out there. I went to his house. And his oh, mom shit. made some corn. I was like, you ain't going to put no butter on it? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no, it's already, s- the rest of corn's naturally sweet. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> like, man, I don't know. Because the homie's mom, he was mixed, but his mom was white. So I'm like, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> making them casserole. Sh- uh, I shit. ate that shit and it was hella good. Bro. Was I was it? like, oh shit, it's the truth. This is how corn's supposed to taste, yeah, bro. Ne- Nebraska corn's the truth. Oh my God, bro. That's funny, dude. <clears throat> I know out here they put, it fucking it's called elote. They put like, oh hell the yeah, the mayonnaise and shit, bro. That shit's gas. I haven't had one in a minute. No, they're fire, bro. I used yeah. to get it in the cup. Like, I go to the flea market and be like, can I get corn in a cup? <laughs> <laughs> they knew what I was talking about, so that's cool. Hell yeah, my mom be doing that out in Nebraska because fucking they had, they don't bro. have no elitero man out there, bro. So she be whipping that shit up herself. They don't have mayonnaise. 
Nah, like they don't have the dudes walking around and shit. Like, oh, because it's hell of oh, country. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's nah. country as shit out there, bro. Dude, if you did that, they'd be like, "What the hell you doing to that corn?" <laughs> <laughs> shit, oh, they probably shit. eat it. Nah, it's hella Cubans out there. So I don't even really? Know. Yeah, it's hella Cubans. That's random. Yeah, hella random. I mean, at Florida. I mean, Florida is still far away from there. Yeah. Well, there's the map right there. That's hella far, bro. What? <laughs> Nebraska's that high Dude, up. Dude, that shit's all the way in the middle. I don't even. I thought it was farther down. Like yeah, by I was, was seeing Mexicans out there, bro. I was like, how the fuck do you even get out here? <laughs> <laughs> you just keep going north, bro. That's and it. they got hella Africans too. Like Africans, Africans, bro. Like, hey, <laughs> like this is my shit now, <laughs> bro. Like straight African oh, niggas, bro. Like straight Africans, bro. <laughs> this is, hey, funny, the, hey, they're I'm hella the funny, bro. Now. These niggas is hella funny. Africans are probably the funniest people I ever met, bro. They don't like, care, do they? They don't get care, harassed bro. So bad, though. Their facial expressions and shit, they be looking at you crazy. I've only met, like, one African yeah. in my life, honestly. <laughs> That's funny that they're big chilling out in Nebraska. Big, bro, random as shit, It's like, don't bro, you guys want to go to, like, a less racist state? Like, what? Oh, that's funny, dude. See, man, going to a different state, man. It's an experience. And it's so crazy how... I've been to Kansas, too. I was out there for a little bit. Kansas and Nebraska is literally the same shit. Yeah, it's just the same shit. (laughs) That's all. But see, you you go there, and you see how different life is. And then you realize, like, this is the same country. And then it kind of makes sense why nobody can fucking get along, Mm -hmm. especially when it comes to politics. Yeah. Because, like, to be honest, the shit that they need and they care about... Is obviously gonna be way different than like people in California yeah, and how we, we live. Need this shit, yeah. And it's like, it's never gonna. It's like, real agriculture based yeah. out there more. So they're definitely always gonna vote conservative because mm-hmm. that, that's just what it is. Yeah. You know, I forget who I was telling. I feel like I told you I said, like, dude, most of those people who have the, who voted for Trump, they probably don't even like Trump. They're just voting because it's conservative Republican. Yeah, they vote yeah. for whoever is in there. You know. Yeah. But. I'm fucking glad that shit's over, honestly. Like, November, like, or mid-October, November, that shit was lame. Man, that though. shit was crazy. I was like, dude, I'm trying to get this shit over with. That man really thought he won. Like, bro. You know what's funny, though? that shit for you, bro. But you know what's funny? How, why, for whatever reason, they're taking forever to count these votes. Like, bro. How can we build spaceships to go to mo- to the moon and Mars, but we can't count some fucking yeah, votes? Yeah, we do all this and that, man. But, you know, it's hard to count some votes. Priorities. I guess. Yeah, priorities. But. Some be fucked up. Yeah. But now that shit's funny, dude. I'm glad you got to experience that, though, man. Yeah. How long were you out there for? I was out there two years. I was out there two years straight. Came back for a little bit. You didn't come back at all? Like, I come back for, like, Christmas break. Okay. So, like, a week or two. And I'll be straight back out there. I had my own apartment out there. That's yeah. how fucking cheap life is in Nebraska, bro. Like. How much was your apartment, like, your, your rent? 575 For For how, like, how big? Two bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Two bedrooms. You can never. $575. I think bro. I saw a shit box, like a fucking hole in the wall in Atwater for like <laughs> 600 It was like one fucking room. Oh, man. You get a whole. Because when I lived in Utah, we had a three bedroom, two bathroom. And it, we split it four ways, but I paid 180 Yes. Yeah, I, I was splitting it between three people. And I was paying 182 bro. It's fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah, bro, I can come up with that. I in a even, month? I wasn't Come even on. working, bro. That's all financial aid. Yeah. No, dude, I had an nothing. apartment off of financial aid, bro. That's yeah. crazy cheap. Yeah. It was cool. That's lit, man. But yeah. Then I started working and shit and football and all that. Where you work? Where did you work? I was working at this gas station. <laughs> it's called <laughs> it's called Casey's, bro. If you ever in the Midwest, go to Casey's and get the pizza, bro. Fucking bomb, bro. Bomb pizza? That shit is bomb as fuck, bro. For some gas station pizza. Gas station pizza, nigga. That shit's hella good. It's probably better than Domino's. I'm not even going to lie. It's <laughs> Domino's that, is mid, bro. <laughs> whatever pizza is gas, bro. I don't even I don't even eat pizza like that. Nah. Casey's is gas, bro. For real. Domino's is good when you're high. 
I used to make this uh, chicken bacon ranch pizza, bro. Me and this Mexican homie. <laughs> we used to what eat. was his name? Um, I don't even remember. He was a barber. I'm going to say Angel. Shout out to homie Angel. <laughs> but, bro, we used to go crazy because they wouldn't let us eat the food. Bro, we'd make all this food, and they try to have us pay full price, bro. Like, no discount or nothing. Really? Yeah. So, we, bro, we used, to make, my... we used to make pizzas and sneak them, put them underneath all the shit. <laughs> and be sitting there Hell eating yeah, pizza dude. during work, bro. Shit, Dalt works at In-N-Out, and he gets yeah. a free burger every time he, he works. What? He's a free meal. And you guys can't even get some, some fucking... Bro, I couldn't even get chips or nothing, bro. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that shit was weak. Bro, my dad's a truck driver, and they give they give him when he delivers the stores. They give him a free soda. You guys can't even get a free Man. drink. That's sad. Gas stations be. I used to work at the Circle K right here, bro. I couldn't even get no free chicken. You worked at the Circle. <laughs> yeah, K? I worked at the Circle K serving chicken, bro. You see, me and Ronald. Me oh, and Ronald hell used to go. Crazy. Nah. You and Ronald ran it together? <laughs> hell yeah, bro. Oh, no. Why do you think nobody got robbed there? Because <laughs> you guys were already robbing uh, it. That's yeah. why. <laughs> they had, they, nah, they got robbed. But, you know, as soon as they hired me and Ronald, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because they hired hella females, bro. It's like, uh, bro, if a female working a gas station at night, bro, it's like, come on, that's a lightweight, easy lick. Yeah. Well, man, she might be strapped up and about it, though. You true. never know in that water. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? Might get poked or something, bro, for real. <laughs> they stab people out <laughs> here. Yeah. Yeah, my brother's on Facebook talking about how we used to go ding-dong ditching. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at, slime? We got chased one time. <laughs> you guys got chased? Yeah, we got chased by some essays. Man, you <laughs> by guys, the fucking golf course. Why are you guys ding-dong ditching in the hood? We weren't in the hood. Oh, we were by oh, the, golf the golf course. course. Oh, no, that's not the hood. That's not the hood, bro. Exactly. <laughs> I don't even know. Damn, what used... if they were out there ding-dong ditching? You guys were ding-dong ditching their fucking house? <laughs> they got hella mad at us, bro. They chased you? Did yeah, they catch yeah, you? They started chasing. Nah. Um, who was it? It was me, my brother, my homie Andre, my boy Andre Mayfield, he a drill sergeant now. Shout out my boy Andre. He in the Marines. Really? He's a fucking sergeant, bro. He, Scotty and Scotty's brother Lex, RP Lex. But bro, we just ding dong ditching. And they already did the house once. Oh, well, they could ask. You could yeah. Ask for trouble. They, I don't know why they went. I went to like we we're ding dong ditching, and I went to basketball practice, and they were doing their shit. And they hit the same house again. And we're on bikes. So we're like, bro, we're on bikes. We're good, bro. They're not going to catch us. They do the house. And fucking this Andre. Andre hits the house and he goes back to the bike. And the dude comes running out. Because it's like, it's the second time we did the house. Andre's fucking, I don't know. I think this nigga had my bike. But bro fucking... He said his foot slipped off the pedal and he couldn't get on the bike. And so he just threw that shit down oh, and started no. running. He left your bike? He left my bike, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Bro, Scotty and Edward fucking, they take off and they just grow into some random ass house. Like the garage was like cracked open. Like, I don't People on that side of that water, they leave their garages open. Yeah, because like, it's a good night. side of town. Yeah, they leave it open at night and they just slide underneath there with the bikes too, bro. It's like, it's That's like some, not a crack. It's like some half movie, open. It's like some movie shit, bro. They slide underneath it and shit, bro. And Andre's fucking just running down the street, bro. And it's a long ass street. You ever been down Augusta? Nah, I know that's that. Like, bro, long ass fucking street, and he's just running down this bitch. And we're like seventh grade, so we're like twelve years old. And Lex is on my sister's bike, <laughs> and, and, and it's all pink and red, some big ass tires. Bro. That's like some. And he yeah. gets up to my house, and I lived in a gated community. <laughs> he's like, "Bro, open the door. We need some help. They're we chasing him that long. Yeah. <laughs> like they weren't even on him at that point. He was just." He was just fucking like, bro, they on us, they on us, they on us. And there was nobody near. And Andre comes behind me. I'm like, where the fuck did you come from? And, like, we lived in these gated houses. Like, I lived in this one, and he lived in this one over here. He was so scared to walk outside. 
in the street and come to my house. This fool jumped the fence, walked on, was walking on these people with fences like a fucking cat. <laughs> being and, way more and, obvious yeah bro like bro hearing these people who fucking being hella loud and shit dogs barking at him and shit <laughs> he's like bro i didn't want to i didn't want to go back outside i didn't know if he was there <laughs> bro hella funny that shit was hella fun bro but yeah they're, they're blowing up my phone about that shit right now that's funny dude bro that shit was so funny you remember when i tweeted about uh i was shitting on that water high about the falcon trophies I don't think so. Okay, so on Twitter, I don't think so. It was a year after I graduated, mm-hmm. and I, because me or Trevor didn't get a Falcon trophy, and that was for like athletics and shit. Yeah. And how, like, oh, bro, I didn't even get one either. With so, like, how everybody, Man. everyone in leadership got one. There was like eight of them, bro, mm-hmm. and every single one, four dudes and four girls, they all, all in them. leadership. And well, I was man, like, Dallas came six in state. Six in the state of California, man. Let me, y'all need to think about that for a second. <laughs> California, track. My white boy, sixth place. <laughs> this fucking guy was running against NFL players. <laughs> he came in six. I raced against Shaq Thompson. That dude got a fat... Uh, that man's a fucking beast. I know, for... Uh, Carolina. Carolina, yeah. Shout out Shaq Thompson. And that then, man went to Grant High School. <laughs> Tad it up, look just like a killer. Fuck, <laughs> look like Waka Flocka. Dude. I already doing some good shit now, like for the community and shit like that. Oh, that really? Dope, yeah. I seen some shit out in Carolina and shit. That's good, man. Hell yeah. Um, this other dude, uh, Victor Bolden. Oh, he, he, he put, got didn't he DQ? Or he yeah, false no, started? he false started he and DQ. He would have won yeah. the whole shit, but he yeah. false started. But he uh, he went to Oregon State. He and got, then in the prelims, drafted. that one dude fell in your heat. That short dude that was hella fast. He went to uh, Prospect. Like, that was his. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, he had an African name. He was yeah. African. Yeah, yeah he, he went to fell. Fresno State. Yeah, dude, he was, he was he raw. Was raw. He fell in the prelims. Yeah. Dude, that was crazy. Pro- yeah, uh, I used to follow him on Instagram when I went to Utah for a while. But he went to Fresno State. He was friends with... Uh, like Derek Carr and them and yeah? shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh and he was dude, he killed in college, bro. Yeah. I raced against him in college, bro. Like the four hundred hurdles. He was wrong. Dude, he was running like fifty ones, fifties with hurdles. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. I can't even run a fifty yeah. without hurdles. Bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> bro, my fastest four hundred is a fifty five, I think. Are you serious? That's because you were being bro, lazy. Hella bro. There's slow, no bro. fucking way that's your time. Bro, bro. that's my time, no. bro. Bro, I'm hella slow. I'm only football fast for reals. On the football You're a goddamn field, bro. Goon on the on the football field. I catch anybody, bro. I will catch Edward on the football field, for real. I don't want. Okay, I'm probably lying about that. <laughs> bro, Edward would dust your ass, bro. That man's fucking fast as shit nah, for no reason, bro. He pisses me off. <laughs> Why are we you that fast, bro? And don't do shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. He was chilling, bro. Do you know what I remember? Hell fast. Yeah. Do you know what I remember about Edward? Fuck, dude. I gotta take a shit <laughs> every fucking time, dude. It's like, bro. Nah, he pissed me off because we would do the um the four. We were in the four by one, and I would have to hand him off, yeah. hand him the baton. In practice, this fool is lazy as hell. So we get our steps good, and then in the meet. He fucking leaves me, dude. And we can never get the handoff. I'm like, bro, you're dusting my ass because you're hella fast. You guys were hella fast back then, bro. Like my senior year. We had a good four by one. I think. I don't even know who we had a good four by four. Y'all was raw, bro. Except for Nara. Y'all still ran what, a 318 with Nara, bro? No, it was a 320. 321. I think the record is three twenty or three nineteen. That's what I was with. Uh, Damn, that was guys. my freshman. Year. That was with um, like Mark Morgan. Mm. No, Mark Morgan's older brother, Andrew Morgan. Terminator. Yeah, Terminator, yeah. and uh, I think like Jacob Batista was on there. He was my roommate mm-hmm. at Utah, and a couple other people. Naheem was on there. Or... I don't Naheem know if he was on there. Time. Yeah, they do weigh like ninety four pounds, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but not nah, man, yeah. Um. Yeah, you guys were raw as fucking track, bro. 
Y'all really did that 320 with Nahara, bro. Yeah, yeah he was slow as ball. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Like, imagine if Edward was running. Well, shit, dude. Raymond, 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 was Raymond started, and he he ran in college, and he was really good. Yeah. And then, of and course, then Abraham, bro. Abraham's goaded, dude. Abraham is a fucking goat, He went to college. Bro. Uh, he went to Stanislaus, then he went to BYU. Yeah, and then now, now he's he runs a professional in Atlanta, track bro. runner, bro. bro. He came in third. I watched that race. He came in third in the yeah. United States Championship, bro, like a couple years ago or he, last year, I think. He went to Olympic trials. I, I don't remember what place he got. He, he came got in fifth, bro. Fifth. I was about to say you think bro, he got top he, ten. He's there, like yeah. he's fucking there. I yeah, dude. <laughs> Shout out to fucking Abraham. I saw bro. him at the, the tarmac. real cholo thing. You saw him at the tournament? Yeah, when I saw you, uh, the day before. Uh, he was there. For real? I don't know. Maybe it was a week before I seen that. him at the gym, like, hella long ago. But this is, like... Bro, he's hell little. No body fat. He's st- yeah, he's still fucking the same skinny as fool. And I tell him, because I've been running... But he's a beast, bro. He's a fucking beast. I mean, he's more cut now and shit. Yeah. Because yeah, I've been running, you know. Beast, I've been on my bro. I've been on my long distance I see you a little jog. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be busting out five miles and shit, right? How so is I, that, bro? That shit, I ran a mile, bro. I want to fucking throw up. Bro, it's right here. Mental. Yeah, I've Dude, you're tough, like, bro. Like, I've never been a long distance. Me person. neither. Mm. Me neither, bro. You know what? You just got to start out two I can't miles. even fucking run 100 meters, bro. That shit gases me out, bro. You got to run hella I'm a, slow. I'm a football dude, bro. Just, just, dri- just jog, dude. Yeah. But it helps with my weight, bro. The, me- the fat just melts off you when you I run. I feel you on that one. But, uh, so check it out. I, I told him my times, like my splits. <laughs> like, uh, remember the fires in California? Like yeah. it was hella smoky and mm-hmm. like it like orange outside, looked yeah. like an apocalypse. Yeah, I was out in I was out in Kansas, bro. People were sending me pictures. I was like, what the fuck, yeah. bro? This shit's so crazy. Before that, I was getting it in, dude. And then uh, I stopped running because I'm not gonna run in that bullshit. Yeah. And I'm not running on the treadmill, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> I hate that shit, dude. Like literally, I hate it. Bro, so, that shit like makes it seem longer on the trail. Yeah, it now. does. So I so I stopped running for a bit, but before that, I was uh, I was running like <clears throat> like my 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 splits. I ran four miles, and my splits were like seven fifty, like or like eight minutes flat, yeah. which is kind of fuck pretty fucking fast for me, bro. I ain't gonna yeah. lie, like that's <laughs> fast, bro. moving, yeah. you know. Uh, and he was like, "Oh, that's that's not bad actually," you know. And I was like. I was like, hey, for sure. And then I was like, what are your splits? Like, when you run. He's like, I went on, like, a 10-mile run. My splits were, like, 6.04. I was like, what the fuck? Six minutes? I could probably, I probably couldn't even run one mile that fast, bro. I've never ran a mile that fast. I think my fastest mile ever back in, like, middle school was, like, 6.21. That's pretty good. <laughs> nah, I what, what happened work- to Walmart? Bro, I stopped working at Walmart, bro. Bro, I worked there for like three months, and all of a sudden I got to train people and shit like that. <laughs> nah, and then like, Corona. oh, you got more responsive. You fucking no, nah, it wasn't. Like- <laughs> it wasn't that. I didn't even know what I was doing. So how am I supposed to tell these people? Tell them what you do. I don't know shit. Exactly. But we That's just what go I was around. doing, bro. But I, and I'm still getting trained at the same time. I got to train these other people. So I told Shorty Strap like, I'm going to college soon. So like. Man, I'm not oh, finna be here, bro. And then all this shit happened with the BML and stuff. I was like, BLM. Yeah, I don't even know what I said, bro. You got me <laughs> you said a little BML. <laughs> See, I be getting my words messed up. But now all that shit started happening, and I was like, bro, what the fuck? I'm, I'm voicing my opinion, bro, because like yeah, I'm yeah. really passionate about this shit. Yeah, you you're on Twitter like making yeah, everyone going, feel bad. I was going crazy <sighs> for I like I mean yeah, I feel bad for saying some crazy shit. Bad. Nah, you're you know dude. I said the shit. It's already said. I can't take it back. At that time, that's how I was feeling. Yeah, dude, there's nothing wrong with that, bro. Yeah, you know. Nah, sometimes I'll be saying some crazy shit though. I'll be having to delete tweets. And <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. You know, I feel like, like I went crazy on Atwater High one time. I don't know if you've seen that. Nah, when about, was that? Like, the test scores and shit. It's like August, bro. Cause you know how Atwater High, they love that fucking spirit section. Bro, the test scores, bro, last and everything. The only school we're doing better than is Atwater Valley. 
where all the bad kids go. Yeah, where we send everybody off that's not doing good. Like, come on, you might as well just send them that water. So you're talking about like Buhack, Merced, GV, like the CCC. The no, Mer- the whole Merced Union, like Livingston, Dos Palos, and shit. Oh, even Merced them school. County, man. Yeah, Merced County, <laughs> bro. Atwater is the worst. In test scores? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you tell them? I was just going off about it. Like, how are you going to care so much about the spirit section, but your test scores is looking like this? You know, we're one of the most, well, we're not the most. We're probably the second most, like, diverse school behind Livingston. Like, bro, we got all these minorities. And, like, Livingston has is the most diverse, but their test scores are the best. Really? Yeah. That's why it's like. How come we can't be on that? Like, what the fuck? Damn, that's dude. what that's what I didn't really know that. that's what got to me. And I'm like, <laughs> nah, hell no, nah, man. I want they gas up at Water High like, oh, we're better than Buhack and da 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 da. Like, I'm looking at the at the uh, numbers. I'm like, hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> this is all talk, and that shit pissed me off. That shit hella made me mad, bro. It's like, damn, bro. Cause I fucking love Atwater High. You feel me? I lived by Buhack my whole life. Dude, I know. I used to walk to school, bro. I used to walk to Atwater. Somebody tried to tell you, bar like, you bar. How come you you show favoritism towards the black kids? You know what I'm saying? That's kind of fucked up. And he's like, he looked at him crazy. You know that he bar. Look, he's like, hell yeah, I'm gonna show him some. I'm gonna show, hell yeah, I'm gonna show him the the favoritism. Look at me, like. Who else is gonna show him that love? Like, yeah, man, like nobody else is giving him that love. So and why, who else? And whoever said that, bro? Like, you act like there's hella black folks out here anyway. Bro, it's like, bro, it's dead ass. Like, it's probably like four black people that graduated in my class. Yeah, me, Jaheem, bro, Will. <clears throat> um, Damn, bro, and Wilson, kid, and this kid named Christian. Oh, no, the homie Jeremiah. And how many of them are, like, mixed? You see what I'm saying? All of us, bro. Yeah. I think <laughs> we had, like, that two, kid like, Christian. kids who, like, my homeboy Andre Randolph. Yeah, Andre. You guys had, what, Andre, then Ben Finister. Oh, yeah, right Ben, there. yeah. Everybody else mixed. He bro. was, yeah, he was older, but, yeah, mm-hmm. dude. That's what I'm saying. It's real diverse it's here, It's real man. diverse. You know? But that's funny, hey, Bar. Yeah, you bar is a nut, like, bro. Oh, yeah. That's when you bar is like, oh, yeah, I fuck with this nigga, Bar. <laughs> nah, Ibarra is a real one, for real, bro. Ibarra, Ibarra, like, if you're black and Ibarra don't even know you, he's finna press you. <laughs> <laughs> like, he pressed, Especially I want to hide. Yeah, like, like, my freshman year, I had nothing but classes with, with upperclassmen. Like, I had fucking pre-calculus and shit like that, bro. So I had nothing but classes with juniors and seniors. So I'm like, damn, I ain't even got classes with my friends, bro. Like, this shit <laughs> yeah. sucks. So I'm walking by you guys, like, just by myself. I'm chilling, got my headphones in and shit, looking down. The bar's like, fuck is wrong with you, bro? Yeah, you a young black man, man. Keep your head up. And shit. I'm like, That's what he told you? Yeah, he told me that shit. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, let me fucking <laughs> poke my chest out, too, bro. Hell yeah. And since then, bro, it's like... That's dope, yeah, man. Bro, Ibarra, I didn't even know that. Bar really helped me out, bro. He really like molded me, cause like my dad was on some other shit at the time. You feel me? Like I really grew up on my own. Yeah. Like in me, like with Edward and shit. That makes sense, cause he was really yeah. hard on Edward, bro. And, yeah. and Edward just took that's it the wrong he, way. Yeah, that's exactly what he tells me too. Edward just feel like, man, Bar is mm-hmm. always picking on me and shit, you know? Yeah. And then uh. Nah, it's Same with Ronald, like, too. Ronald just shit. didn't give a fuck yeah. back then. He didn't care. Like, that's just me. Like, nigga, I'm going to do it, bro. It's like, what else I got to do, bro? Like, yeah. It's a rough life, bro. Like, like this can't be worse than what I'm living right now. So I'm going to just do this shit. Yeah. And I did it, bro. That nigga Ibarra got me out of here, bro. I fucking love him for that. Shout out Ibarra. Yeah, dude. Nigga facts, Ibarra man. got me out of fucking... Got me and my family out of Atwater, man. Shout out to him. That's good, man. How was your, uh, I mean, well, we kind of talked about that already. But, like, you had, you, <clears throat> well, how was football? We we talked about, like, the kind of a little bit of football. the life there. But how was, how was football? Like, did you start and all that? 
like in college? Yeah, in college. Yeah, yeah, I went out there. Let's see. When you go, this is something I learned. Like you go out there and it's a JV team. Like you got JV and varsity. Really? Like, yeah, th- this is D1 too. Like this is like. I they didn't got, even know that. Yeah, they got JV. It's like for freshmen, you know, to develop them and grow and shit. Like, like you know, when you first got to Utah, you were seeing some big-ass motherfuckers yeah, there, huh? Bro, I got there. I'm like, I can't fucking play with these guys. These are grown men. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's something, like, NAI is different, bro. Like, D1, you got these motherfuckers, like, fresh out of high school. They've been... They train for football for their whole life. Yeah. NAIA, bro, you got people that are fresh out of jail and shit like that, <laughs> bro. Fresh out of JUCO. I'm playing with motherfuckers. I'm 18. I'm playing with people that are 27 and shit, bro. Bro, JUCO. I'm like, fuck, this is terrifying. Yeah. Bro. I'm like, but you know, I can't, I can't show that shit. So I'm like, man, I'm just finna come out here and, and fucking play, bro. Yeah. Cause what, you were 18? I was 18. Did my shit. I was on the JV team for three days. That was it? Yeah, that was it, bro. Moved me up to varsity. I'm like, hell yeah, I got ball, nigga. That's when I knew I was a baller <laughs> right there. I'm like, bro. I got up there. I was covering these niggas the first day. I'm like, oh, yeah, bro. This JV shit weak, bro. I'm, I'm playing varsity, bro. But the thing is, I didn't really play my freshman year. is because the safeties that were in front of me, they were seniors. And fucking, I'm not going to lie. Our DB core is raw as fuck. They all got first team. Oh, really? Oh, league. Yeah, they were fucking raw, bro. Yeah, they were raw shit. I probably played. I started. But you two, learned a lot from them, yeah? Yeah, I learned a fucking lot. I started two games because at Nickelback. I was about to say, you played corner? You played safety, yeah? I played safety, yeah. They moved me to safety. But you were a hitter more than a cover, right? Or, I mean, you could do oh, both. Yeah, but... I could do both, but. Yeah, Aren't I was you more I of was, a hitter? Yeah, I was a more run stopping safety. Mm, that's just rough, man. Some big boys down Especially there. Especially when you gotta fill the gaps, man. Yeah, you gotta come flying down there. Nah, but it's cool. NAIA, they weren't that big. Nah. So, yeah, nah. But nah, it, football is crazy. Motherfuckers be fighting that practice and shit. That's you just, some goons on the team? It's for real. It's, yeah, it's a couple. Like my homie Corey, shout out my boy Corey. He make music D four E D four E Evans. He from Tampa, Florida. As my boy, he really oh, helped shit. me out. Yeah, he helped me out. My homie Ladontre, he from SAC. He in the army. He a nurse right now. Shout out to him. They really helped me out. My boy Demarie, he from San Antonio. He a coach at Concordia right now, bro. That's who I really learned a lot from. Like, really? Hell yeah, that's probably the best DB I've ever seen. His feet, bro. Quick, bro. Beautiful, like a DB backpedaling mm-hmm. and transitioning and out, bro. It's fucking. That shit's it's, an art form, it's bro. It's art, bro. He did that shit, and that shit was art, bro. Like. Like, I would just study him, bro, at practice, bro. Like, I would, I probably, he probably knows that I would, but I didn't say shit to him, bro. I would just stare at him like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, the way his mind would work too, bro, that's what I learned about, like, about football. Like, because I wasn't fast or anything like that. I'm going to just know where you're going to be at before. Oh, no, I'm good. Oh, you got some? Yeah. I just study a lot. That's what football is. Once you know the playbook, bro, that shit's mad easy. A lot of dudes, people don't realize like how smart you gotta be to play ball, bro. Especially mm-hmm. defense, dude. Hell yeah, defense. Hell yeah. Because defense, you gotta read like offense. You know what the fuck's about to happen. You're the guy. You're, you're running. This especially, shit. especially at safety too, because you're not covering the receiver. You got you can see everything, and then if you don't have a receiver, you gotta look for the tight end. But if you don't have the tight end. You got to look past the lineman and fucking the running back all the way in the back. So you got to, like, break it down to, like, okay, I got this triangle right here, and I got this triangle right here. If this guard goes this way, it's like, okay, majority, most likely. It's a lot of scenarios. Runs, yeah, yeah, like, and then a down and distance and shit. Okay, it's, it's third and five. Okay, okay they're not going to run no fade, so they're probably going to run a little hitch. Boom, boom. I don't even have to backpedal. So you just stand there, boom, comes to you. Once you know that, bro, that shit's magic. Mm-hmm. Comes like that. 
<laughs> I fucking love football, bro. Yeah, you I just broke, you just got me love fired this up shit, right now, bro. bro. Uh, man, if you want to learn some football tips, hit my line. <laughs> I might have to start charging. <laughs> <laughs> I love this shit for real. Oh man. I know. I coached that. I coached. Um, I don't even know. I I coached the freshman team like. Couple years ago, yeah, I yeah, remember that. I came out there, bro. Helped them out a little Ebar bit. Ebar wanted me to go out there. Um, yeah, let's do it, bro. We fucking, bro. When I went out there oh, and coached, be fun. I taught them how to backpedal. That's it, bro. They caught an interception every game. That's all I taught them how to do, bro. Freshman, <laughs> oh, you did. You I taught them backpedal. That's it, bro. That's how easy it is playing defensive back. Man, freshman kids are retarded. Cause you know everybody want to run backwards and shit. Like you can't run backwards how you run forward. You be trying to run backwards? Yeah. Freshman kids don't know dick, though, dude. Yeah, they don't. That's why I taught them how to backpedal, bro. <laughs> this shit was easy. They're like, thanks, Coach Gilmore. Hell yeah, yeah, I still talk to them today, bro. They still hit me up. See, that's cool right there, man. Cause you I know, that's why you build you know? that bond. That's why I see it like, damn, like, like how I got that bond with Ibarra. It's like, damn, I built that bond with younger kids, bro. That yeah. shit's dope. I told Ibar I wanted to be ready. Like, I wanted to finish school, which mm-hmm. I did. And uh, I just wanted to have the time in my day yeah. to, like, to give to the kids and not just, like, be there sometimes. Yeah, I or, feel you. you know? That's how I want to, too. Because, like, Cause once if, you're I, wanna, shit, if like, I want to coach, I want to approach that shit, like, how they were approaching it in Nebraska when I was in college, like. The whole breakdown and shit of the play and like you used to have like to go that. to film like every day. Mm-hmm. And like I mean, we used to film. do that shit with Bell. Yeah, but that was just like lunch. You yeah, know? that's lunch. And you know, motherfuckers ain't paying attention during lunch. <laughs> I mean, they're eating, bro. <laughs> my little salad box, like it's like they're in there watching film, just shaking my salad. Um, I'm not shit. trying to listen to Bell fucking yell at me. <laughs> and they're <Yeah>. grunting. Huh. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Oh, buff ass motherfucker. <laughs> That nigga was huge, bro. Oh, he still is. Hell yeah, he still is, bro. Man, I miss. I don't. I don't miss film when we used to get when we got scraped and then you had to go the weekend and watch film. Mm, man, especially when you know there was a couple plays where you looked like were an you idiot up? and you're just sitting there nervous as hell. <laughs> oh fuck, here it what is. What the hell are you doing right here? Yeah, Bell. Dallas. I don't know. He, he one time he went. He didn't say nothing to me. He goes Dallas, and he goes like this. He goes, and it like the play happened. He goes Tuh! like that, and I was just like, uh, fuck. Some shit you just gotta laugh at. Some yeah. some shit in the film is funny. Nah, it is, bro. <laughs> like like me and like my buddy, like Matt, like we just sit there and just like try not to laugh because sometimes <laughs> shit we like stupid out there, bro. You know, I hated defense though. So. Yeah. Yeah, I just like to run the ball. I was I pretty much see it. fucking run on the sweepies that take off on yeah. that shit. Yep. So that's good, man. I should have told my brother to play football your senior year. Y'all would have been hella raw. <laughs> all those fucking, y'all would have had like 30 different running backs. That's what I'm saying, bro. No, I didn't run, want him to bro. play. I wouldn't have got as much playing. I got like hardly any playing time. For real? Senior. You guys were stacked, bro. But I didn't really care, bro, at that yeah. time because I was in the track and like, I was like. Yeah, you were I, fucking raw at track. As long as I got my burn in football, which I did, I scored yeah. some touchdowns. Yeah. I contributed. It was lit. That's all I cared about, I bro. I know. I didn't give a fuck about offense. <laughs> That's because I didn't trust our line, bro. I'm going to keep it real. I was scared. Well, we always had little dudes, man. We little, had little ass dudes. dudes, bro. I mean, we had a couple We had a couple big people. What happened to your hand right there, man? You got a big-ass scar oh, right there. Man. You fucking stabbed or what? Uh, yeah, that's what I had to tell the cops. <laughs> I honestly don't even know how it got cut. I just got in a fat ass fight. Oh, really? In Nebraska, yeah. Damn, Off what'd you throw on down in Nebraska bro. for? These dudes hit a girl. They hit this girl. Like, we were leaving the party, like, because they kicked us out and shit. And then he, like, hits her in the back of the head or some shit. And we're like, we're already drunk. And, like, we drunk some tequila and shit. And we don't even know the girl. That's the thing. She's just chilling with us because, like, we're the only black people there. And he, like, hits her. And we're like, what the fuck? And so, like, they're trying to pull him back into the house and lock the door. But we're pulling him out. And it's like he's on these stairs. And, like, we finally got him. And he fucking, boom, face first, boom. Like, he 
Like, it's a pretty good drop. And we just start stomping him out. We just start punching him, bro. And then we just got in this fat-ass fight. And I just look down at my fucking hands, hella cut, gushing blood and shit. I'm looking at my tendon, bro. Like, I could see oh, the tendon nah. in my hand, bro. That's a deep-ass scar. That's yeah. why I asked. And, like, that shit was cut right here. Like, I'm looking at my tendon all the way up here and shit. I'm like, damn, I can't feel shit in my hand. And then, like, they're still trying to fight. And I'm like, oh, shit, my hand's fucked up. And we're in the snow, too. And I'm in, I'm wearing Converse, bro. So I'm <laughs> slipping and everything in the snow, bro, trying to fight and shit. My hand's busted open. I can't move my fucking pinky. So at this point, I'm not even swinging no more. I'm just fucking tackling people. <laughs> and then some dude's girlfriend's walking around with a thick-ass Amsterdam bottle, hitting people with that shit, bro. So I'm, like, really? I'm just trying to fight. Not even breaking, just... Not even just breaking, ding. bro. Just <laughs> hitting people just, on the head and shit, bro. Just folks. I fucking... I watch my boy get hit in the head. I'm like, what the fuck? Watching him, he's stumbling in the middle of the street and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I had to run across the street, tackle a dude off of him. And she comes running to, up towards me, hits me in the shoulder and shit. I'm like, holy fuck, What a big-ass Amsterdam bro, bottle. Bro, <laughs> big-ass Amsterdam bottle, bro. That shit hurts so fucking bad. Damn, you were getting jiggy out bro, there, bro. It was crazy. I, that's why I came back, bro. I had to get out of there. Man, and you got into more trouble there than exactly, here. Exactly. That's exactly and why I like, left. There's so much fuck shit going on around here. I know. I was like, bro, I'm getting into too much shit out here. Like, I was just there a couple months ago. I had to fucking slap somebody. I slapped the shit out of him, too, bro. Like, I left the handprint and shit. <laughs> what happened? Bro, I was on the phone. I was on the phone with my dad. And he calls me a bitch. Who? Like, the dude, this, he's our equipment manager. He's like, quit being a bitch. Do, 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 do. And he's in the locker room. So I'm like, bro, it's over, bro. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> we in <laughs> yeah. the locker room, no cameras yeah. or nothing. So what it, happens in the locker room stays there. Yeah, I slapped him. Oh, slapped the shit out of him. And he hit me back. I give him that. He hit me back. <laughs> but, like, he didn't hit me hard or nothing. And he fucking locks himself in the room. So I'm like, oh, I can't do shit now. He's fucking, he's on the phone with the athletic director and shit. I'm like, oh, I'm gone. <laughs> Call my dad. I'm like, you, can, you gotta pick me up. I gotta, I gotta go. I just slapped the shit out of him. Like, he, and that like, was that? Bro, he had an ice pack on his face and shit. Like, like, I seen him later. He had an ice pack on his face. I'm like, bro, this is like three hours ago. What did he say? You? I didn't say nothing oh. to him, bro. I seen him in the dorms. I was in this girl's dorm room. And her roommate happened to be his fiance. Oh, bro, he dude. walks. He walked into the <laughs> he door and pants. he seen me, bro. He had a panic attack. For real, bro. For reals, he had a panic attack. Was this on white boy? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he bro, said panic attack. He had I was a like, panic oh. attack, bro. He's just sitting there, just. <gasps> I'm like, oh, bro, like, bro, I'm, that shit's dead, bro. Like, I probably should have told him, like, yo, like, I respect you, bro. Ain't no problem, but. I didn't tell him this shit. He was hella terrified. Did you just leave? Shit. No, I didn't leave. You just stayed there? I was chilling, bro. <laughs> what do you do? Just figure it out? <laughs> nah, his his girl, she was like, I don't want any problems. And da, 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 da. I'm like, well, I wasn't even talking to some other dude. He's like, no, nah, we're good. We're good. It was some older cat. Some nigga from Washington. Shout out my boy, uh, Devarie. Dev the kid on SoundCloud. Tap in with him. <laughs> Shout out to him. <laughs> But he's like, nah, we're good. No, 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 no. It's good. We're chilling. And then we went to some party and it was good. That was good. Yeah. You were out there, you said a couple months ago? Yeah, like September, August, September, I was out there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, but whatever. Yeah, four by four, that water's four by four, man. It's raw. Every year. Like, you guys came in fourth your guys' year. I think they came in fourth my year. Dude, Abraham was pissed too. I know, I remember. He tried to tell me you should have ran harder. I was like, <laughs> "What the fuck are you talking about?" So they can just fucking had to run three hundred hurdles against that tall ass motherfucker. Yeah, Andrew Stag, bro. Oh, Stag, that was Andre. Yeah, that nigga was raw. He got signed. Bro. He got signed to the Chiefs. For reals? Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know if he's still with the Chiefs, but like two years ago, yeah, Man, bro. Probably got a ring on. Huh? <laughs> 
I don't know. He might have got <laughs> traded. I don't know. He probably was on the practice squad. Okay. But he got fucking signed. Like, he was, like, a legit that's dope. part of the Chiefs Holy organization. Shit, that's dope. I don't know where he's at now. But he uh, because he went to Sac State. He was mossing people, bro. True. But, yeah, I had to race him. That dude, Sipes, that white boy, that tall white kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, dude. Yeah, man. And, and like, the 300 in track is, like, you get the 300, and then you got, like, the 2-mile, and then, like, something else, or the 200. Yeah, the 200, and then the 4x4. Four four. You the four don't by even four. have a long rest. Nah. Yeah, Abraham Who got off Who is that one four that always tried to beat you from Merced in the hurdles? Tatum or something like that? I don't know. Oh, from Merced High? Yeah. Merced or Golden. Remember that one race that you jogged? And like he was hella close to you, but you ran a forty-one, and he left, <laughs> and he didn't even run the oh, four by four. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, that dude was trash. That nigga got hella mad, bro. Nah, he was one of those kids who just talked hella shit. He really he wasn't thought good he was, at he all. Was gonna get you? Yeah. Like he was like, oh, I got Dallas. I got Dallas. Yeah, yeah. I remember that Dallas Hooper, forty-one <laughs> point. <laughs> Boom. That man got so yeah. mad. No, cause he, I guess he was practicing hella hard for like the week. I know who you're talking about. I hella and, forgot and, uh, his name. But... I forgot I did too. I don't remember his name, but uh, that's that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Cause bro, he probably never forget me, man. dude. But he came up to me. He's like, "Bro, I got you today." I, I was like, that. "In what?" Like, <laughs> and the 300 hurdles, bro. I got you. I did, you know, you should see me at practice. He low key made me a little nervous because he was hella confident. I was yeah. like, "No, all right, we gonna see." Dude, I went out. And, dude, yeah, I did. I like jogged. <laughs> you jogged. <laughs> you for real jogged it, bro. Yeah, poor like, guy. well, your fastest time thirty seven, bro, to a forty one, bro. Yeah, four seconds, it's bro. Slow as shit. <laughs> Fuck, dude. He was pissed. He didn't even run the four by four that yeah. day. I remember in Turlock, uh, we had a meet, and they didn't even have the hurdles in the turn. They didn't put a whole set of hurdles. They skipped them. <laughs> they skipped them. Yeah, like the like, one in the middle of the turn. Yeah, like the hurdle crew. Oh, like when gosh. they set the hurdles up, they didn't put that whole one in, and I was pissed. I was running, and I like put my hands up, and then I, like pretended to hurdle. And then, like, I just like, jogged the, the rest. I was like, this is fucking stupid. You know, I, I should have just let everyone else win, honestly. get Let them get their first win. Mm-hmm. That shit was hella so. funny. Really used to go at the track meets and people say, all right, who's coming in second today? Because <laughs> <laughs> they knew Dallas was automatic. That's dub. you guys, bro. I never said nothing. Man, I didn't never really talk us. shit. That was them, too, though, because they already knew what time it was. Like the other kids? Yeah, they knew what it was. Dallas is gassing on everybody. Yeah. That was a weird feeling to go to like the invitationals and like, and it's like oh shit, kids it's that I don't Dallas. even know, like they knew me. Because that's how I used to be. Like I would see yeah. kids like, oh, that's such and such. Mm-hmm. Oh, that motherfucker's raw. But then that was like, that then was And when you me. popped out that time, you were fucking leading the state. Yeah. They were like, oh I was shit. Like, uh, there was one point I was I was fourth in the whole. Yeah, state, that was like bro. March. Yeah, yeah, that was early. You popped that time early. Yeah, I did. Yeah, Barra was like, "Fuck no, that ain't real." I'm like, "How? <laughs> How is it not real?" <laughs> you, you, you literally were right witnessed there. it. Bro. <laughs> you were right. You there. witnessed it like <laughs> the fuck fucking is clown, real, dude. Bro. Barra's a hater, <laughs> bro. Barra, I used to run. Man, Barra, let me jog this one, man. Motherfucker, you better run this race right now. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> he's oh, going to be mad at you. He'd be like, trying to act like he didn't and talk like, like that. He'd like get in my ear so no one else would hear him. He's like, I know. He you would. Mean? You would do that. What do you mean? I don't cuss. Yeah. That's what he tried to do on the podcast. And I like kept it respectful. But dude, he Bro, would get in your ear and totally just right disrespect just, you and your family and, and like, everybody. He's like, damn, bro. For real? <laughs> That's how you got to do me, Dude. Barra, and you go out and run the fucking, run a PR. Because <laughs> what I tell you? What I tell <laughs> yeah. you? And then try to be your friend after. I'm like, like what? Get away from me. He used, to make, he used to make the hair on the back of my neck stand up, like, dude. Like, fuck, I want to fight you right now, you Barra. Yeah, dude. I'm getting Barra trying to act all nice now because he's, you know, head coach. You sitting there dying at the race. How did that feel? How did that, it feel good, yeah, you huh? You feel good, huh? You happy you won? I'm like, <laughs> Fuck no, I'm not. Hell no, bro. <laughs> not Get away not from yet. Me. Yeah. Give me like fucking two hours, bro, and then we're good. Yeah. But man, that's what's great about sports, bro, and just the com- just the competitiveness, yeah. dude, and like the atmosphere, the shit you never forget either. Yeah, the atmosphere, yeah, bro. Man. It's a lot of fucking. Oh yeah, dude. Before fucking. Uh, 
But uh, I'm glad you're doing good, man. I'm glad yeah. you're, you're still around, bro. And, and thanks for coming on and shit. Yeah, yeah. Had to Appreciate come it. back. Had to get right. Yeah, man. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is Nate Gilmore, young Atwater legend. You already know. Yep. <laughs> Gilly X for if you don't know. Gilly, <laughs> Gilly X. <laughs> That's your name? That's my alter ego when I get drunk. <laughs> Gilly Yax. Gilly Yax. Yeah. I think wild. I'm a way more cool person. I start talking more and shit. You see me on the podcast. Yeah, for real. That's it's why. Man, you're, Dallas that's why gave me like two shots before I even got here. <laughs> but you lying. <laughs> nah, it was one. One in a beer. But yeah, if you guys want some merch, go head on over to mulberrydreams.com, man. Copy you some shit. That's what it is, man. But this is the Mulberry Podcast. We'll see you guys next time. Mulberry. <laughs>